this video we are going to discuss a concept that is social engineering so we are going to deal with these concepts and we can consider certain other terms under this uh, umbrella term that is social engineering so this is an important area that you have to focus in information and communication technology so let's get into the topic so social engineering is the malicious act of tricking a person into doing something by messing up his emotions and decision making process Social engineering attacks typically involve some form of psychological manipulation, fooling otherwise unsuspecting users or employees into handing over confidential or sensitive data. So what do you mean by social engineering? It's an act wherein we're tricking a person in order to get certain sensitive information from that particular uh, person. So if you consider certain examples like this, you might be familiar with uh, these kinds of messages and emails in which they'll ask you or you're getting certain messages in which uh, we can read it as okay you have won this much of money and if you can just uh, share these details like if you can just uh, send your uh, pin I number or if you can just send your account details this much of money will be credited to your account so these kinds of um, attacks or these kinds of tricking can be considered as social engineering because these are malicious acts in which this uh, it, it is an act that actually tricks a person in order to give their sensitive information so uh, once we give these kinds of ideas or these kinds of data to the other person at times it can actually rob our entire uh, money as such so this kind of malicious act can be generally called as social engineering so it's this malicious act of tricking a person into doing something or uh, it is uh, an act or it actually involves some form of psychological manipulation or fooling the other person in order to get some kind of uh, confidential or sensitive data so if you consider social engineering in general the uses various means of communication in order to do this activity so commonly social engineering involves or they use emails and other communication mediums like your text messages and all that and they'll be evoking certain emotions in the other person so they'll be evoking that urgency fear or similar emotions and through this they'll be a uh, kind of uh, tricking or they'll be actually making the person sending their very confidential information Oh, oh, so that is what happens in uh, social engineering. So at times we might get an email like you have to do it right now or, the, or otherwise your, your uh, account will be freezed. What will you think? It's like an urgency. We'll be uh, fearful and we'll be like, okay, we'll be confused. And suddenly we might give our very confidential or our very, um, uh, very important details. So these kinds of tricking can be called as social engineering. So this uh, social engineering can be it can use different means like emails or, or messages and all that and they can actually evoke a kind of emotion in the other person it's like a psychological manipulation and through which they will be leading uh, the victim to reveal certain sensitive inf information and also at times they will provide you with some malicious links and at times we uh, often uh, with this fear and with this urgency and all that people might open this ma that malicious file and that will lead you uh, to certain losses. So that is what the social engineering is all about. So if you consider social engineering uh, as a concept and as an umbrella term, we can identify certain terms or certain uh, kinds of attempts or attacks uh, that can be considered under the larger context of social engineering. So now we are moving to or going to look at some of the uh, fraudulent attempts or some of these kinds of malicious activities that can actually lead to this kind of psychological manipulation and leading to sharing your uh, sharing your sensitive data or opening this kinds of malicious files and all that. So the first important uh, attempt or first important act that can be considered as a part of social engineering is phishing. So what do you mean by phishing? Phishing is a fraudulent attempt often used to steal user data or sensitive information such as logging credentials, credit card numbers, etc. The attacker masquerades as a reputable entity or person in an email or other form of communication. So generally, phishing uses emails as a means uh, through which uh, or as a means to manipulate the other person. So uh, in phishing what happens is the attacker, uh, they act, they must masquerade or they act as a very reputable authentic person or authentic entity and you uh, they'll send you, the attacker will send you 
uh, an email. So once when you see this mail or once you read read this mail, you think that okay, this is from an authentic source. And uh, in the mail, they might ask you to share some of the uh, information, sensitive informations like your login credentials or your credit card number, your PIN number, and all that. And once if you uh, if you find okay, it it, it seems. Uh, Authentic. At that point of time, some people might give their uh, important details, sensitive details. Let's say uh, if you're getting an email from an insurance company or if you're getting an email from a bank uh, or, or uh, that kind of entities, still these are if the attacker is masquerading as an as a company or as a bank and all that at time at times we cannot identify whether this is the right one or wrong one and at times people will give their uh, informations or they'll share their information that's why now we are getting a lot of information and awareness regarding all these things because a lot of people are cheated through these kinds of social engineering and now we have a lot of discussions and awareness about this anyway this phishing is actually uh, a fraudulent attempt in which the attacker masquerades or they act or they fake as a or as an authentic entity or a person and they'll send you an email and in through this they what they are trying to do is through this email they're trying to steal the user data or the uh, the sensitive information from the uh, person uh, to whom they are uh, giving or they are passing this mail so that is phishing so phishing can be associated with emails you have another term that is smashing so what do you mean by smashing smashing is a social engineering attack that uses fake mobile text messages to trick people into downloading malware sharing sensitive information or sending money to cyber criminals the term smashing is a combination of sms or short message service the technology behind text message and phishing so smashing when you consider this smashing as a social engineering attack that this actually uses text messages or sms so when you consider phishing the means through which you will get these kinds of messages is through email so when you're getting these kinds of uh, messages through sms or your text message you can call it this smashing so at times we might get certain text messages in which uh, they this message or that they the attacker ask us to download such a ma malware or uh, there are certain um, sms in which you'll get uh, an information where you need to uh, share your information like what we have discussed uh, before the credit card number or your user data and all that and at times you might get certain uh, text messages in which you will be asked to do or you will be asked to uh, open some links and all that and at that point of time our money will be sent to a cyber criminal so these kinds of uh, social engineering attacks that happens through text messages that is what we have to focus here the smishing is associated with text messages so this kind of um, attacks that happens through text messages can be called as smishing and if you consider the term smishing it's a combination of two different words one is sms short message service and also uh, phishing that we have already discussed before another important term that you have to identify here is farming so what do you mean by farming
this is again a social engineering attack. So a farming attack is a type of cyber crime that redirects web traffic from a legitimate website to a fake website designed to mimic the original. Any information that you enter on the fake website like passwords, credit card numbers, etc. goes straight to the hacker. So what do you mean by farming? So farming is again a social engineering attack where you will be redirected uh, where they redirect the web traffic from a legitimate website to a fake website. So if we are actually trying to enter into a website and through this farming, the attackers can actually redirect you to a fake website. So when you see it, you you it, it seems like a very original website as well as that. So you are trying to access a website and um, you will be getting into that website itself. That is the idea you will be getting. But the thing is, through this attack, the hackers can actually redirect you to a fake account or a fake website and it exactly looks the same. So it mimics the original website. So what happens here is when you are redirected to this fake website, any information that you are given or any information that you are entering to that fake website actually, actually goes to the hacker. So that is farming. Okay. So the next important term you have to identify here is spoofing so what do you mean by spoofing so email spoofing is the creation of email messages from a forged sender address the message appears to have originated from someone or somewhere other than the actual so spoofing means we are actually forging so we are faking another person's email id and we are sending a message so what that is what happens in spoofing so it's like we are mimicking or we are uh, spoofing or forging the sender address and we are sending a message. So we are getting a, uh, we are getting an information or a mail from a sender. Uh, once we look into the, that particular address, it it might be the same. It like the authentic or original address as such, but it's a forged email ID or email address. And from that, they'll ask us to give you, give them certain information and all that. So it's like spoofing. We're copying. We're forging. So that is what happens in spoofing. It's not as the hacker. Okay, the attacker is spoofing or the attacker is faking the sender address of someone else and they'll be sending emails. And once a person is getting his email, it seems like the original entity or the original person, uh, uh, that is what the idea the person gets. So they'll be sharing the ideas or they'll be sharing the details that is mentioned in the uh, forged email or the, the, the mail that that person got. And finally, what happens is all those details will be taken or it will be accessed by the attacker. So that is spoofing. So now we are moving to certain questions, certain previous year sample questions to get this idea more clearer. clearer. And this is a question that uh, we got in June 2023 in the exam. So what's the question here? The action of illegally installing malicious code which redirects a person to a fraudulent website with the purpose of obtaining that person's bank details is called. And we have the options phishing, farming, spamming and smishing. So we have various options given here. What is the key phrase that you have to concentrate here? Redirects a person to a fraudulent website. So we are redirected to a fake website. So what's the idea that is mentioned here and what's the term that you can give here? If you consider the options that are given here, we have phishing, farming, spamming and smishing. And the right option that you can consider here is option B that is farming. So all other options, phishing we have discussed, smishing we have already discussed. Spamming is uh, basically the spam messages that you are, the unsolicited or unwanted messages or emails that you are getting. That is what spamming is all about. So uh, all the other options we already discussed. So the right answer for this question is option B, that is farming. Moving to the next question, asked in December 2022 next exam. The action of sending text messages to fraudulently obtain another person's bank details is called. And we have the options phishing, farming, spamming and smishing. So what is the key term that you have to focus here? That is text messages. So here the means through which the attacker is sending message in order to uh, get the sensitive information from the other person or the recipient is basically what the text message is what used here. So that is basically associated with smishing. In smishing text messages or SMS is what the attacker is using in order to get information from the recipient. So in that manner, we can go for option D. So the right answer is option D itself.
Moving to the next question, and this was asked in December 2020 and June 2021 MERS cycle. So what is fishing? And we have various options, various uh, explanations given in the options. We have uh, option 1 or option A that is it uses networks to search out computers and someone sends legitimate looking emails to users then redirects the user to a fake website and key logging software. So if you consider phishing, we can call, if you consider the option, we can easily go for option B. Someone sends legitimate looking emails to users. That is what the correct explanation of the term that is used in the uh, question that is phishing. Other option, it uses networks to search out computers or redirects the user to a fake website. It's not phishing. What is that? We have already discussed. So what is that? What is that term that you can go uh, give to redirect the user to a fake website that is farming okay so then you have a key logging software that is again another idea and that is somewhere related to this fiber and all that so that kind of network related issues and all that anyway so the right answer right explanation for this question is option b so the right answer is of course option b itself so in this session we have discussed a very important term uh, that you need to identify you need to understand in information and communication technology that is social engineering so we discussed about what is social engineering and we have gone through some of the important types of social engineering attacks as well so it's a very important area if you if you just go through the questions in the recent exams we have explored this area uh, very frequently so this is how you have to approach net exam as well you have to analyze the questions and you need to identify what are the things that we need to concentrate but are the things we need to study so all this if you consider the module there are a lot of things you can study in that particular module itself but you have to be very specific what are the areas that you have to focus on and also if you are focusing on a particular concept what is the approach that you have to give to that particular area or what are the ways in which you can expect questions from that area in net exam so these kinds of ideas should be there when you are preparing for uh, NTUGC net paper one so this is how you can actually uh, get into a score that you are dreaming for so this kind of a very systematic approach to uh, paper one is what we are following in apple b so we are providing uh, you with online as well as offline classes here so if you want to know more about our courses you can just contact the number that is given below so thanks for watching and happy learning